Hey guys, now we are assembling the Type A boost driving light. In the Type A box, as with all the boxes, you have instructions. This coloured picture here is really handy. So if you don't completely understand this video, look at this picture. It shows you the orientation of all the components. Inside the box, you have all the plastic components in one bag, and then you have the bolts in another bag. You have two cages. So these are your type A cages. One is labeled one, and one is labeled two. They are the mirror image of each other. So one is for the left-hand side of the car, one is for the right. With the components, you've got twice of everything, double of everything. You have your pivot lugs, your adjustment screws, and your adjustment screw holders. So these little so your thread, your female thread is here, your male is there. This small piece needs to click into this piece here. So that could be the first thing that we can do here. On this concave side, so the inner side, we wanna click this into place. Put that aside. You'll have 12 bolts. They are M4 by 8 mil, and you'll need a 3 mil Allen key to tighten these down. So just get half of them aside for now. Open up your boost driving light. Keep the plastic on for now, you don't want to damage the lens. On the back, have the cord side closest to you. You want your screw. So on this adjustment screw holder, there is also a number. That number corresponds with the cage. So on whichever, whichever driving light you have, this adjustment screw step, that needs to be closest to the center line of the driving light. You don't want to put it that way around. You'll know you've put it the wrong way because it's touching the cord and it's stepped away from the center line. You want this on the center line of that driving light. So start by screwing this down. Get it started, don't cross thread it. So tighten that down nicely. Next step is your pivot lugs. So that's what is going to let your driving light aim and they need to sit in this position here. You'll notice there's a little divot here and the lug is off center to this little bolting flange. So you want this little lug to sit in this divot on the driving light. So once you've tightened up all these bolts, time to offer the cage to the boost driving light. So the cord needs to exit from the side where the, the adjustment screw will be. So there is a little recess here. The other side is just straight across. So the recess is for this cord. On the side, obviously your pivot lugs need to line up with the females. Just stretch that, get one side lined up, stretch the other one across and just click that into place. Your adjustment screw, go through the hole. You'll see the, the female side, what you've clicked in earlier, will be lined up with that. If it's not lined up, you've done something else wrong, namely these uh, pivot lugs. 
and get that started. Just get a Phillips head screw, screwdriver, sorry. And once you have it, just aim the driving lights parallel with the front face. So these two bolt, this, this bolting face here, line that up with the front. So once it's in the vehicle, you want to do your fine adjust at night time. So repeat that onto the other side. It will be the mirror image of this. And when you go to your vehicle, line this up with the adjusting screw on the same side as the original fog lights. If you don't have a fog light in your bumper, just line this screw up where it's going to be easy to adjust. So make sure there's plenty of room for your screwdriver to get past any structure um, behind the bumper. And yeah, once it goes in, we'll bolt it into place. 